Hello folks, welcome back. Your host Timothy Adams with Geek Corpus Productions. Today we're going to be doing a reveal or an unboxing of the Ballista from D&D Attack Wing made by WizKids Games. So here we go, let's go ahead and start and see what is in the box. Hey folks, here we are with the reveal or the unboxing of the Ballista from D&D Attack Wing. Now, I haven't seen this inner, the innards of this yet. I've cut off the outside just to make it easier for time's sake. But let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. And as you first thing you're going to notice is that's the standard packaging and the price point of $14.99. Again, I'm going to reiterate, $14.99 is a great price point for what you get. Yes. It's one miniature, but with all the die cut tokens and the cards that come into it or come with it, yeah, it's totally worth the 15 bucks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place all that in standard artwork. I really like that. All right, the components, as you can see that, if you want to push pause and look at it, there are all the components that come with it. And then, of course, the bases that it comes with and the fasteners for your maneuver dial. Let's go ahead and remove this. All right, just so careful. All right. All right, so as you can see, is the same ballista. If you're not familiar with it, this is the same ballista that comes with the Icons of the Realm set. That is the randomized miniatures set that Wizards of the Coast has partnered with WizKids Games and NECA on uh, for the new, to go along with the fifth edition of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, except that the base here, if you're going to notice real, right off the bat, this is so nice. I like this for the new ones here, but. Let's see if we can grab a little bit more of a focus on it and get, get, have you take a look at that. Oh, give me just a second here. All right. Anyway, it says the ballista. It's got the name on there, and it's all written in white. Okay. Um, I guess I'm having a little bit of a problem with the focus. In any event, if you're familiar with the Icons Realm version of this, the raised name is part of the mold you know but it's covered over in their paint so you, apparently it's part of the mold like i said and then they paint over it and it clogs it up and clouds it over and you can't really read it and that's one of the drawbacks um the quality of those miniatures are not quite what i expected but i think they learned from their mistakes and was able to put it on here which is great i think it's fantastic this is a great little piece so let's go ahead and look at and open up the packaging here and see what's inside. Okay, so you did look like all your standard cards. We'll look at those in a minute. There's your maneuver dial, your exhaustion token, the diamond dust icon. I don't know what that's for. We'll probably figure that out in a minute here. All right, so your other die cut tokens, the objective, which I assume is going to go with the adventure booklets. Ooh, wow, that's kind of cool. And there's a couple of them there that are like that. Hmm. Well, when you pick it up and you take a look at the um, adventure book, it's going to explain probably what these are. These are like other ballistas. Maybe it's kind of a, hmm, I don't know what that is. We'll figure that out. In any event, here's the cards. Here we have the adventure booklet, adventure 3.5, protect the prototype. All right. Oh, it's only, okay. It's only, it's not a trifold. It's just a single fold in half. All right. Very cool. We'll go ahead. I'm not going to bore you with the details on that. Let's look at our first card here. Artillery Master. All right. After spending your target token, you re-roll your attack dice. And after seeing the results of the re-rolled dice, you may disable this upgrade and allow yourself to re-roll each attack die one additional time. Cool. Dwarven Precision. During a primary weapon range attack, if you spend a concentrate token, you may disable this upgrade to convert each of your focus results into a crit instead of a hit. Must be a dwarf or a dwarven siege weapon to equip. Oh, nice. Bag of diamond dust. Oh, okay, here we go. During the combat phase, if you just damage a creature with your primary weapon, 
ranged attack, you may place two hourglass on this card to force that creature and every creature within range one of that creature to receive the continuous effect below. Continuous effect. The affected creatures cannot perform any actions when this effect ends for any reason. Discard this card. And the Siege Engine or Troop can be used heroic upgrade slot. Okay, very cool. I like that. Here it is, Calamity. Oh, it's got a proper name. Six attack. Wow. No agility, of course. Four, four health and two armor. Your armor cannot be penetrated by non-critical damage, even if the damage from the attack from penetrates armor. Ooh, I like that. Let's see. Oh, let's go back. I want to see something. Okay, the cost is 35 points. I'm a little high, but it's range four, level seven. It's a Dwarven Siege Weapon. Nice. Demolitions Expert. During the combat phase, if you damage a creature with your primary weapon, range attack, you may discard this card to make an immediate two dice attack against that creature. And every creature within range one of this creature on the same play level. This attack penetrates armor. Nice. After performing a red maneuver, you may discard this upgrade to avoid receiving an exhaustion token. <laughs> very, very nice. The great thing about this game is that when you build your legions, you actually can cross-reference cards. Some people like to play pure. Oh, I bought this, so I'm only going to build it for this. No, you cross-reference these, these cards. Now, there are penalties that are accrued, but you can cross-reference a lot of these cards. which makes it a lot easier to be able to. And that's why they put on there, must be equipped on a Siege Weapon only. Okay, Dwarven Ballista, here's the generic card. Rapid Reload. Disable this upgrade and place one hourglass on it. Continuous effect. Instead of attacking normally with your one of your primary weapons, you may make two separate attacks using any of your primary weapons. If you do so, roll minus one attack line for each attack. Neither attack can be initiated from the attack text on an upgrade. When this effect ends, for any reason, you receive an exhaustion token. Cool, but of course there's always a cost to it. Here is the ground movement. Slow movement, as to be expected, but it still has a turnaround, which is nice. And then, of course, Skilled Machinist. Action. Discard this card to repair one of your face-down armor tokens. Or, action. Discard this card to flip one of your face-up damage cards face-down. And then remove up to two of your face-down damage cards. I like that. Skilled Machinist. Very cool. A lot of great cards. This is actually a really cool little expansion pack. I might pick up a couple more and to build my Legion with this. I think it would be a great defense, depending on what gaming event or objective or adventure we're going to play um this is very cool so go down to your local flgs and pick it up if you don't have one near you you can go ahead and i'm sure find one online just to be obvious but this is a very cool little expansion set i'm quite impressed with everything that they put out so far and i hope that they continue along those lines all right so that's it for today uh, thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, of course, comment down below and let us know what you think. I am always open to uh, constructive criticism and I look forward to releasing more. And hopefully if you're going to be in the LA area next year, um, around February, there's going to be a convention. Uh, you can come down and meet me. I'm going to be doing a learn how to play this. So again, it's going to be at the Hilton Airport at OrtCon 2015 over the, was it late, not Memorial Day, Labor Day, I forget what it is. It's over, actually falls over Valentine's Day weekend. So come down to the area, take a look, come say hi. Uh, I'll be around and we'll be running some older OPs as well. So look forward to it. Of course, there's always other games. There's WizKids.com, Wiz, uh, WizKidsGames.com, Wizards.com, Gale Force 9. There's all these different ones. Tabletop uh, role-playing games that you can look up, different ones, boardgamegeek.com. And I appreciate your time. So any questions, just let me know. Talk to you later.